Problem 15, let's first read it. Let the letter fly bog represent distant digits. Suppose fly fly is the greatest number that satisfies this equation. Eight times fly fly is equal to bug bug. What is the value of fly plus bug? Okay, so when you see this question, immediately you have to remember 1000 and one, right? That these numbers are being multiplied by something like this, okay? If you don't know, so let's go and review a little. And then we come back and deal with the question. Now, if I go and press one, two, three, and I multiply this by a thousand and one, what do I get? One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do it with a different number. If I go with two, two, five, multiplied by a thousand and one, I get two, two, five and two, two, five. And the reason of this is actually simple. It's not like magic. It's just, I mean, let me make this larger. So 225, 225, right? I could write this number as 225, okay, with three zeros plus 225. Okay, if you're not sure of this, write it vertically and try it before you watch the rest of the video. Okay, and then you see now, this is 225, okay, and this is a thousand times of this. So for example, if I call this one X, this is a thousand X, right? So now if I go and add them all up, okay, 1000 X plus one X is equal to a thousand and one X, okay? And what was x? x was two to five. So all of this is the same as one thousand and one multiplied by two to five. Okay. So I'm gonna just clean what is in between and let's see what we have. So two to five is equal to a thousand and one multiplied by two to five. Now if I go and for example here. Uh, if I write fly fly, for example, like the example, and if we, do, we just repeat the same process, fly fly becomes what? Instead of writing the six digit number, I could just write the three digit version of it, which is gonna be fly, multiply by a thousand and one, okay? So any three digits that you pick, multiply by a thousand and one, will be repeated. Let's go and use this in our actual question. Now let's just go and apply what we just reviewed together. So eight times this one. So instead of this, I'm gonna go on and write a thousand and one times fly. So it's gonna be eight times one thousand and one. Okay, multiplied by this fly here is a three digit number. So is equal to, this is again following the same pattern. So I could write it as a thousand and one multiplied by BUG bug. Okay, so as you see, this 1001, okay, is <clears throat> repeating. <clears throat> so I could go on and divide. Now I can divide both sides by any number that I want, right? So 1001 divided by 1001, both cases are going to be one, okay? And one times Bach here is going to be Bach. So I would just go on and clean this part. And the same here. So what I'm gonna have is eight times fly is Bach. So I just simplified this part of the equation. Now look, this is being multiplied, okay, by eight. So that means this is also multiplied by eight. And the question is asking us, what is the greatest number that satisfies this equation, okay? So to find the greatest number, I would focus on this part. Let's find the greatest 
three-digit number that is divisible by eight. We multiply this by eight, so this is divisible by eight. So let's go and find it. We know that a thousand is divisible by eight because a thousand divided by eight is 125. So how do you find the next number? We just have to subtract it by eight. It becomes 992. 992 is the greatest number that is divisible by eight. Okay, but is this going to be the same as because this has to be bog. See, now it's going to be like this. First, 9 becomes B, and then 9 becomes U. No, because here it says they represent distinct digits. B cannot be 9, and U again 9. No. So what, what should we do? We should com like continue the same process. Let's find the next one, the next great number that is a multiple of 8. So I'm going to go minus this by 8. <clears throat> So I'm going to get 9, 8, 4. Now, 9, 8, 4. Okay. So let's see it here. We could compare them like here, this time. So B becomes 9, U becomes 8, G becomes 4. Right? It's very good. So this is the number. So we have the value of this. 9, 8, 4. So let me write it here. So we just need to find a three digit number that when we multiply it by eight, it becomes nine, eight, four. So it's easy. All we have to do is divide nine, eight, four, okay, by eight. So you could do it here. The answer is one, two, three. So that's going to be the value of fly. So fly is one, two, three. So all we need to do is just add these two numbers together. And if, even if you want to be smarter, so you see now, if I just add this digit by this digit, three plus four is seven. And the only option that has seven in it is C. So if you are certain about our numbers, we just go, go on and select this one. Or just to be center, you could just do the whole addition and check.